Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make these white lacy seed beads earrings. They're easy to make and I'll show you step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're going to be able to make them by yourself. If you want to support me, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bidding ideas. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description, you will find a full list of materials links where you could buy supplies from link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are really simple stuff. I'm using two colors of 11 ounce seed beads. Use contrasting color, it will look better. And uh, you could use 10 ounce seed beads if you want, it doesn't matter. Here I use ear wires. This is monofilm and that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters, size 10 beading needle, scissors, and these are pliers. They are not obligatory, but they could be used to go through the difficult bit if needed. Okay, so now I'm going to take about 3 feet of thread on my needle, which is about 90 centimeters, and I'll be back. Okay guys, and now I have my thread on my needle. And I'm going to pick up 12 of these beautiful white beads, okay? And I'm picking up them now. Now I have them on my needle. Okay, 12 beads. And I'm going to slide those down almost until the end of my thread. And I stick my needle here in my mat and what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making it by making a loop and going once going second time through this loop you've made and pull and then I'm going to make one more knot make sure I'm between those two bits where I started it and that's it I'm ready okay what I do next is that I go with my needle through some beads in this direction. Okay, just like this. And now in my next step, I'm going to pick up chameleon bead, white bead, chameleon bead. So this is what I have on my needle. And I'm going back in circle through this bead that I'm exiting out of. Okay, now you see what I have here. I have something like a loop of beads and I'm pulling. Then what I do is that I go through two beads in this direction and I'm pulling and I'm taking a dark, a white and a dark. Okay, I'm going back through this bead here. Okay, this is what I have. Go through two beads in this direction. A dark, a white and a dark. This is what I have. Go back through this bead here and if you can, in order to save time, go through the following two beads. And pull. Okay. A dark, a white, and a dark. Go back here and through the following. A dark, a white, and a dark. Go back and through the following two. And this is the last bead from this row. Okay, the last loop from, from this row I meant. And I'm going here, my friends. Okay, now this is what I have. And what I want to do next is go through this dark bead like this. And I take three darks, okay, 
I go through the next dark and through the white here in my first row. Okay. And I pull. Then I go through the following dark bead, just like this. Okay, and I take three more. And I go in this one here and in the following white, just like this, and pull gently and slowly. Okay. Now I go in the following dark bead. Pull. Take three. Go through the following dark and through the white that's next to it. And now, guys, I will do the rest of this row off camera and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next in a while. If you forgot how I did it, rewind the video and you will see. Okay, guys, and here I am where I'm just adding my last three beads from this row. And what I want to do is go in this direction. And I want to exit here at the edge of my work. And I'm going to add three white beads here. Go back in circle through this bead that's sticking out the most, through the middle bead, okay? Then through the dark and through the following white. Here is what I have. Then again through two dark beads. I want to reach the one that's sticking out the most. And I want to take three whites. Okay, go back and go through the dark and through the following white. Okay, then again through two dark beads. Like this. Three whites. Go back. Making a loop here, then through the next two. Okay, and I'm going to continue this off camera. And when I'm ready, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last three beads. If you forgot how I did it, rewind the video. See how I'm doing the first part and repeat it, okay? So now I'm taking here a white bead. Go through these two whites here. Take one more. Go here. One. And this row is so pleasant because you only fill up those gaps between the whites and it looks so neat and cool. Okay, and I'm sure that if you come up to here, you will be able to finish this row by yourself until the end. Okay, and I'll be back in a while to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last white bead from this row, here. And now what I want to do is exit here at the top, through the bead that's sticking out the most, the middle one of five, okay? And now I'm going to take nine dark beads. Okay guys, and I have here my nine beads. And what I do is that I go through this white bead here, just like that. Then I go through two beads in this direction, like this. Take just one dark bead and go through the following three beads in this direction. Then take nine beads. Okay, I have my nine beads here. Okay, nine. And I'm going through the following white. Okay, like this. Then I go through two beads. 
take one dark go through the following tree okay and take nine okay nine and I go here through this white then I go through these two beads here take just one and in my next step I'm going through these three whites again then through the following two and I take one dark bead and go to the next two beads and my goal is to exit here where my bead is is sticking out the most and I'm going to take nine beads okay and I go here through the one that's sticking out the most then I go through these two whites take just one dark go here filling the gap at the angle okay then go through the following white take nine okay go through those beads here through the first two white beads take one dark through the whites in this direction through the one that's sticking out the most and add nine more beads okay now this is what i have guys and as i'm exiting from this white bead i want to flip my work because i want to go in this direction okay and what i do next is go through these two dark beads okay then i'm going to take seven of these white beads okay i have my seven beads here and i will go here two beads away from this white bead in this direction okay pull tight and fix your work okay okay then i'm going through the middle one of this nine beads that i have here one two three four and this is the fifth one which is the middle one and i take three white beads and i go back in circle through this middle bead okay now my goal is to exit here two beads away from the middle bead and two beads away from this white bead and what i want to add are seven whites okay i have my seven white beads here and i go here in this direction okay one two three four five beads from this white bead take three go back and through the next two one two one two i'm here between those two beads if you don't see my thread there it is and i take seven okay 
7 bits and I go here in this direction okay 1 2 3 4 5 take 3 okay go here and in the following two and I'm going to continue this row until the end and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay and here I'm adding my last three beads from this row okay like this and what I want to do next is make an additional thread path to finish my work okay and how I'm doing it here you see I have seven beads I go through three of them skip the middle one and go through the following three beads okay and pull then go through all of the dark beads in this direction again go through three beads skip the one the white one that's in the middle and go through the following three white beads and through as many dark beads as you can in this direction then pull and you see the beautiful angle that you have here you could also go through these white beads here okay make them stay in one direction okay then go through the following three skip the one in the middle then through the next three beads and through the following two dark beads then one more time through these three whites at the edge okay like this and I think you get the idea and you could repeat this until the end of this row by yourself. You could always rewind and stop wherever you like to see how I'm doing this. Repeat it and when you finish this row I'll be back to tell you how to attach your ear wire. Okay guys, and when I did this additional thread pad, I have angles everywhere and now I'm exiting out of one of the angles here through this bead that's sticking out the most and what I want to do next is take one dark bead, my ear wire and one dark bead, okay, this is what I have and I'm going back in circle through this dark white bead at the edge And now what I do is that I want to reinforce this joint here. I'm going around several times to reinforce it. Then I'm going here in this direction through some beads here between my white and my dark bead I think this will be a nice place to make a knot okay and I'm exiting here and now what I want to do is make a loop and then make a knot and I'm making my loop here going once and going second time through it okay with my needle and pull pull tight and then what i do is that i go through the following seed bead and after that after i go through my following seed bead in this direction i could repeat this knot several more times and when i'm ready i cut my thread and now my white seed bead earring is ready 
Okay guys, and now my white starry seed beads earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bidding ideas. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description you will find a full list of materials, links where you could buy supplies from link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.